Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sab if you're new here and today we are doing our legacy challenge. I have been looking forward to filming this all week. I have read all of your comments. I have taken everything into consideration and I'm just excited to see how things are going to turn out. This is a very tricky situation with uh, Teddy and Edison. I, there's so many names to remember that I honestly get confused. I'm surprised that you guys <laughs> can keep up in the comments. It's pretty great. A lot of you guys were against the idea of Edison being with Teddy's sister Mari, which I get, I understand. It is a very sticky situation. Um, and it seems like the majority of you guys still want them to try, um, but expect a very rocky, not perfect at all relationship. And uh, yeah, we haven't had one of those in a while, so I'm excited to see how things pan out. I hope that you guys are enjoying the new expansion pack, Sims 4 for Rent. Uh, we did a couple of streams. We did build by, cast, and gameplay. So if you guys want to check that out, they are saved on my Twitch channel for, I think, like three months or something. So you can always go back to my Twitch, go to my videos, and you'll be able to watch the streams. I'm super excited to implement this pack into this challenge as well. I think it's going to come in really handy um, where we want to keep family members around, but we don't want to have to control them. And, you know, we can make, like, their house, their dwelling, and then we can make, like, the main house a common area kind of thing. We can even make the living room in the main house a common area and, like, everywhere else they can't go. There's just so many possibilities with this pack. Those are the aspects that I'm most excited about. Um, I don't think I'll be playing as a landlord that often. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see how things turn out. I have a raspberry rose poppy today <laughs> i always love their cans are so cute it's really early in the morning right now i kind of just like rolled out of bed and uh had coffee and then wanted to film this so good morning mm -hmm. crispy crack for the win cheers guys thank you for being here with me today let's get into it all right gang here we are back in the campos household so excited i love the little robots that zoom around our lot now no! 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 That is not something I wanted to hop into the game to. Where is he? Our cat is passing away and I don't even know where he is. Aww! No! He's passing away in the garden! Mm, poor kitty. I'm pretty sure he was an elder. Yeah, has reached the end of his lives. That's funny because he's a cat. <laughs> yeah, everyone is dying slowly but surely. Okay, yeah, get over here. Get over here so that you can be with him. Poor kitty cat. That's so sad. Maybe we should put his headstone or gravestone, whatever, right here. And it's a rainy night. Yes, everyone come over here and be with him. Ow, not the back problems. Whole family's here except for Evangeline. Not really sure what she's doing. Get off your phone! There she is. She's seriously playing games right now? I don't understand you. We can't give grim death flowers for pets. Rest in peace, little kitty cat. I'm gonna put you right here. Well, at least he lived a long life. Zoe seems to be taking it the best, which is weird because that is a Zoe's cat. <laughs> oh. Ugh, what a way to start the episode. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let me. I'm gonna get Ren to uh, super sell all this stuff out here. <laughs> we know Grim still got that romance bar. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, you're taking our plants? Excuse you. Really, dude? You are not. You like cross-stitch? Cool. Oh my god, he's taking our grapes! You asshole! Yeah, get out of here, bro. Leave. He's like, I'm just gonna take some plants with me before I go. Hope you don't mind. I need some grapes for this wine I'm making. <laughs> oh no! The bots! They broke in the rain! No. Okay, let's just put them in our inventory. I think we can uh, uh, fix them on the station, I hope. All right, so it's Wednesday. We do have school tomorrow. I'm just going to send them alone, probably. 
Um, and then after school, I'm gonna get Eddie to go hang out with Teddy. I'm gonna have him ask her what her attractiveness preferences are. And I really like the idea of him trying to change himself for her. Like, oh, I'll just find out what she likes and then I'll do all of those things to make her like me more. And then, like, who knows, maybe he will feel comfortable with the way he looks or he'll learn to, like, hate it now and go back to how he really is. Um, but I think right now he's willing to do anything to, like, grab her attention. Man, my sims really like to cross-stitch right now. I always think that the popcorn has that moldy steam, but it's just like a hot steam, which is quite comforting. Um, it's snowing like crazy outside right now. It has been a very uh, cozy morning with a snowstorm, something that I <laughs> never get to experience until I moved here. So it's pr pretty great. All right, Zoe, how many potions of plentiful needs do you have? I need you to spread the wealth a little bit. She's got seven. Okay, I'm gonna give Eddie two of these. Send all students alone. Jesse Martino was adopted by the Caliente household. Congratulations, Jesse. All right, guys, have a good day at school today. Make good choices. Okay, I want to see if there's a parenting skill class that she can sit in on. Oh my god, dude. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. I can't believe my eyes. You're joking me. You gotta be. This can't be the right guy. He's in. Luna? Luna? No! I was just saying she's an elder. Everyone's gonna pass away soon. Oh my gosh, she's the second one to die out of the 10 kids. Oh man. She's got three high schoolers and one um, middle schooler. Both of their moms are dead. Oh my God, they're all living alone, living alone together. Living alone together, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> all the kids are alone now. And Zoe is still fine. Insane. Anyways, I wanted to like look at the skill skill classes. How do you do that again? We have a maid. I haven't seen this so called maid in a long time. Sit in on a skill class. Here we go. We should be able to pick which skill, right? Or is it random? Here we go. Burglary. Test day, study hard, test. Um, I wanna go to a parenting class. A skilled parent knows when to influence, when to encourage, and when to discipline children. They know the best way to clean a kid up and how to solve their needs. Parenting skill is built by caring for children, talking to other parents, and researching on the computer. Increasing the skill will unlock new ways to parent. Okay, let's do that. All right, you two, make sure to study hard. All Zoe wants to do now is sit on her phone and play games. I get it. She retired in the last episode. It's her relaxing period. What are you doing? Play game. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Who is it? Teach her to break up a fight with Edison and another student. Have them work it out. Why are you calling Ren about that? <laughs> okay. Oh, there she is. Just as I was saying, I've never seen you around. There you are. Isn't it funny how that works? And there's Ms. Gardner, perfect. Cleaning up all the weeds, fantastic. Zoe Hart just had an insightful parenting class and looks forward to finding real world applications. All right, how did that help your skill? She had just leveled up to nine. Okay, that brought her to halfway. Holy, so if we go one more time, we'll probably max it. I wonder if we can do it back to back. If you've got money to spare and you're trying to max a skill, maybe this would be the best way. Endurance? Oh, it's for horses. I honestly always forget that this is a thing. We can do back to back. That's what she should do in her elderhood. Just go back to back skill classes so that we can max everything. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my god, compatibility with Grim. Good compatibility. Grim has the good trait. Oh, well ain't that sweet. Oh my God, Ren and Bruce have bad compatibility. Spicy. 
Did William have his baby yet? I realized I kept calling him Wilson in the last one, and I was like, no, Sab, that's William. Wilson is Luna's son. <laughs> All right, let's have a look-see. Ooh, should Evangeline invite over classmate Melanie? Who's Melanie? Mm, Wilson, William, I mean, oh my God, I almost did it again. What? She hasn't had her baby yet? That's weird. Welcome back. Who is Melanie? Who is Melanie? Who is Melanie? Who is Melanie? Oh, welcome back, Zoe. Did you max that? Parenting. Oh my god, it's almost there. 93%. Okay. I'm sorry, babes, but you're gonna have to go one more time. So, what, three skill classes to level up to level 10, and it takes a little bit longer once you get up in the higher numbers. So I think that uh, if uh, you're new to building a skill, it'll go by really, really fast. Who's this Melanie person? Huh, what's her last name? Melanie Fournier. Yes, yes, this family keeps coming up. Um, okay, so what can we do? Throw drink, oh my gosh. Why don't you just like try and diffuse this mood that you've got going with your friend that you invited over? Rant and rave, tell joke. Okay. Parenting one more time, my love. All right, Eddie, where you at? You're taking a nappy. Did you have a rough day? Oh yeah, he did get in a fight. Okay, well, let's take this potion. Oh my gosh. Dang it, Zoe's, oh she, we can access her inventory still. Ooh. I kinda like that. I love the clumsy trait, but I also love the perfectionist trait. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. Luna's calling? Yeah, Luna's ghost is calling to tell us about the afterlife. Parenting level 10, baby. Let's go. Okay, so she's got masterful insults, uh, prompt resurrection, good fortune, immortality, alluring aura. That would be interesting. Maybe Edison steals this from her stash, drinks it, and then asks Teddy to hang out. Ooh, that's interesting. He's not magic, but he can still take the potions. I want to see their, um, their, their compatibility, like really badly, but for some reason it doesn't show. Ask on date. I could really use a friend. I've had two deaths in the past 24 hours. I'm losing my mind. All right, where should we go? Get coffee? I don't know. I don't really like going to cafes on dates because like all they do is get up, order something, sit down, eat, get up, order something, sit down. It's kind of annoying. What do we got in San Sequoia? Recreation center? Teen arcade and bowling. Let's give that a shot. All right, so to-do list for this date. Ask her what her preferences are, at least like three, and then <laughs> we're gonna change Eddie's appearance a little bit, depending on what she says. Uh, what is all this? Yeah, Why? Like, oh. Okay, they're, is she okay? She doesn't look stoked to be here. Okay, let's just brighten her day. I'm sorry about these pop-ups. My game is like freaking out. <laughs> Talk about dreams. Okay, she's being re very receptive today. Retinue Squire Marfa. Boba? <laughs> Squibs. Oh, 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 oh. What do you like? What do you like? What do you like? Tell me. I like bohemian style outfits. Bet. Polish style outfits? Okay, tell me something more. Not just your outfit preferences. Oh no. She's pregnant. That lady is pregnant. Stop telling me the same thing. I might have to just check myself. Let's see here. Boho. Oh my god, it's telling me literally the same thing. Okay, so she likes... Oh. Okay, we didn't choose her preferences yet. That's why. Okay, I'm gonna randomly choose them. Develop Teddy's preferences. We're gonna do random, and then we're gonna do opinionated. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, now let's ask her. They seem to be getting along really well today. She might be in a good mood. Not really sure. But let's ask again. Medium length hair? Oh, wow, they're embracing. 
Okay, let's just have a look. Let's just have a look. She likes black hair, blonde hair, and turquoise hair. Bald and medium length hair. She doesn't like short hair. She likes wavy and curly hair. That's good. That's good. Um, she likes gray eyes and blue eyes, which we don't have. She, wait, she doesn't like brown eyes? Oh no! <laughs> I don't think we can change that. Freckles and tattoos. She likes tattoos. Does she like buff guys? She has no preference on muscle. She likes orange and red clothes. She doesn't like pink clothes. Rocker, bohemian, and polished. Hats and piercings. She doesn't like jewelry. All right. Well, now that we have learned all of that, the next time you see us, you're going to be so in love. Just you wait. Just you wait. Hey, Bruce. What's up? It's time to bolt. Oh my gosh, Mari's here too. Maybe we should bring Evangeline here. No, she's at home with her friends. Enable moonlight bowling. Let's go. Oh god, don't embarrass yourself like that, boy. Oh yeah? Are you impressed? Oh, look at her. She's smiling. She's happy. Very Why do you have an umbrella inside? All right, I don't know. <laughs> My mistake. <laughs> oh no, someone doing karaoke. Oh jeez, guy. I like your flower. Oh, mom's here. Why are you here? So just checking up on you, honey, making sure you're all right. Oh, I forgot to take the potion. It wasn't even really necessary. She was like feeling us regardless. Whoa, 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 what's happening over here? Oh my God, it's her mom. Aw, both of our moms are here. She doesn't look very happy about it, but. Oh my god, he's gonna chat with Mari. He's feeling flirty. Oh lord. Oh, Long Johnson. Oh, you should do a respectful introduction. Oh, he's sipping the potion. Oh, that was cute. Do you see the little heart with a smiley face? I feel great. What are you doing? Thank you. No. No. All right, he's not feeling very good because of uh, the death. I'm gonna turn this off. It's like really blue. Oh my god! You are not! You are not! You are not! You are not! He was about to ask Teddy's mom a risque question. This is bad. Why? You're a teen! You're a teen. How are you having romance with a freaking adult? Okay, stop talking to her. Stop. Why is there two of them? What in the actual- <laughs> My game is cracked. It's so cracked. Shuniklava Arbe. Fuibak Dutsuo. Dolbe. Che. Leva. Legendary date. Well, that's good. Okay, I think she might have left because our date ended. All right, um, well, let's go home. We got some stuff to do. We got some stuff and things to do. I'm gonna place a hair salon. I'm gonna place a tattoo parlor. You already know we're going blonde, baby. Oh no! Fine, Ren, fine. Be hot-headed. <laughs> Oh my god. She's probably hot-headed because she's stuck inside all the time. She hasn't had any excitement. All right, so we got a couple of restaurants here. We have a spa and we have a shopping center. So what I'm gonna, this is the bustling world of Magnolia Promenade, by the way. I always forget there's this lovely Italian restaurant that we built over here. We should take Teddy on a date there next. All right, hair salon built. Okay, tattoo parlor built. Now let's find a nicer little shopping mall where he can find himself. 
Some new bohemian clothes. 40 by 30 is what we're looking for. All right, we got ourselves some new lots to visit. All righty, back we are. He's a high school B student. You know what? I think we're gonna play hooky tomorrow. And... Go and do all the things. All right, what did we get in the mail? A bunch of celebrity potions. That's pretty clutch, actually. Evangeline, what are you doing, my sweet? Hanging out with Charlie's ghost? <laughs> okay, why don't you do your homework since you do have to go to school tomorrow? Aw, Stella's ghost is here. Man, Eddie is really obsessed with popcorn. It's pretty cute. Good job, Evangeline. Already done with your homework. Do extra credit, why not? Ren, what are you wearing? Oh yeah, I forgot we gave you this outfit. I'm so used to seeing you in your work fit. What is this? And, ooh, shoot, she needs plasma packs. I think 50 should hold her over for a while. Poor thing, I'm sorry. You ran out last episode and I never... Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. What? What's wrong? Are you good? Oh, she's having herself another one. She's so cute. Oh my god, I can't. Oh yeah, sweet, uh -huh. sweet plasma. <laughs> whoa, 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 what was that? It's almost Zoe's time. No! So one of you guys commented that we should give her the potion of... La 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 la, the potion where she never dies. Um... What is it? What is it? Danny Rich, I don't know who that is. Everyone is dying, guys. Portion of Immortality. I don't know if that's allowed, though. Because we're only allowed one form of messing with their age per sim. Like, if we did give it to her, we would obviously move her out. But, I don't know. I love that idea so much, but I was thinking about it some more. And I think we only should have one immortal sim in the family. Like, everyone needs to die eventually. Unless they're a vampire. Then they can stay alive, but... You know. Death. It is what it is. It's inevitable. We are not going to school today because we took it a vacation day. We're just waiting for the shops to open so that we can go to the hair salon, go get our tattoo, and go get some new clothes. You know? You know? Oh my god, he literally just said you know. Alright, let's take care of these, uh, let's take care of these moods. And then we'll head out. Oh my god, we can set sync type now as well. That's pretty clutch, guys. If you guys didn't know, there was an update, a base game update, and uh, one of the things was um, being able to set sink type so your sim stop watch washing the dishes in the bathroom. I rarely have that issue, but um, I know that a lot of people do, so yeah, I hope that you guys are enjoying that. There was also in the update, you could just click on the front, the click on the house of uh, another sim, and you can click switch control to that house so it's a really easy way to like play different houses and then there was also some new outfits added wow what a good boy cleaning up after himself Ooh, love days tomorrow totally gonna go to that restaurant with her and show us show her our new look <laughs> this is gonna be great whoa that was a long washing of the dish okay took the potion feeling good in the neighborhood feeling energized Let's go! Okay, first, let's go to this hair salon. These lots aren't functional, by the way. I just kind of like doing this instead of just hopping into cast. It's just more fun to check out some lots and just like go go there and do it there. It's just, it's just more, you know, realistic, interactive, fun. <laughs> okay, we are here. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I mean, go for it, guys. There's two sims swimming in these bodies of water. Anyways, so, this is pretty cute. Look at the little hair washing sinks. That is so adorable. I love that. Okay, so, change sim. Here we go. Oh, no, he got in the pool, too. Whoa, 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 who are you? Are you a teen? You're not. We're gonna bleach our hair, guys! We should probably make it like a medium length as well. 
Emka Fluv Gaffa. Yeah, that's what I said too, dude. Okay, let's see. So, I don't know. I would say that his hair is medium already, but let's see what we got. I'm looking for like the curly tendrils. Just a little bit longer. I kind of like that one. That's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, it's so wild. I love it. Okay. Yeah, not many options. A lot of them are pretty straight, but I want to keep his curly his curly texture, you know? So, yeah, let's just go for this one. And then we need to make it blonde. Oh my god, moment of truth. <laughs> Gosh, I don't know which one I like better, the warm blonde or like the white blonde. I think we need to change his brows maybe. And then make them like a lighter. Okay, that looks pretty good I think. <laughs> oh, the things we do for love, am I right y'all? Okay, cool, hair done. Blonde and medium length, just like she likes it. <laughs> this is so funny, but totally realistic, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I didn't change things about myself to uh, uh, catch the eye of someone, but that was so long ago. Now it's kind of like a take it or leave it kind of situation. <laughs> Okie dokie. Looking great. Why don't you check yourself out real quick, see oh how you like it. He actually looks cute. I'm liking this new era. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the prettiest of them all? After Edison finished checking himself out in the mirror, he thinks he looks quite attractive. Let's head over to the tattoo shop. What, what should we give him? I kind of want to give him something that you can see all the time. My mind went straight to face tattoo, but oh my god. Imagine getting a face tattoo for someone that you were in love with when you were a teen. And then like growing older and being like, why did I freaking do that? Like, I have a tattoo. I have a matching tattoo with uh, this girl that I used to be best friends with and now we don't even speak. Whatever. <laughs> oh, stuff happens. It's a story. Okay, here we are at the tattoo parlor. It looks like they, wow, it's really crazy in here. We got some Drawing tables in here, some vending machines. Why don't we get something while we're here? He looks cute, guys! <laughs> Alright, so here are the tattoo tattoo thingies. Um, I'm just looking for a mirror. Here we go. Oh, hand tattoo! We can give him a sleeve. We can do some chest tattoos. Oh, you like the chest tattoo idea? Oh lordy. He's a geek and he's creative. So maybe like some kind of like alien tattoo or maybe like a video game tattoo. I think uh, maybe something on his arms would be best. It's this one. Oh my God. A freezer bunny. Oh, that looks super nerdy. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Here's, this is a, a Princess Mononoke tattoo. We have a Spirited Away one. A little dragon. What is this one? Aw, no face. I think this um, Spirited Away dragon one is pretty dope. Oh, oh. So maybe we'll do that. It's like not too crazy, you know? It's faint. The la Ooh. the... Lines are thin. All right, I think that's pretty good for now. Let's also give him some body hair since he's getting a little older now. Maybe just a little happy trail is good enough. Okay, um, cool. Tattoo done and done. Next up, outfits. I guess we can look at all the clothes under each category and see which ones fit him the most. I'm curious to see if the way that she treats us is gonna be more receptive now that we uh, align with her preferences. I wonder, I wonder if the game is like that. Okay, here we are, shopping mall. Let's see what we've got. Um, okay. Here is the clothes section. There is a pet section, bathroom, 
Um, not really sure what that is. It looks like someone's house. Very interesting. He's gonna go cry in the bathroom. No! Come over here. Come over here. We need to give you some retail therapy, okay? He's giving himself a pep talk. Poor guy. Back in cast we are. <laughs> so it looks like he's got two outfits. I'm just gonna delete them. Um, all right, so let's have a look at the boho um, section first. See what's good. Style boho. Okay. Yeah, the problem is with this is there's no CC, which rough, you know, very rough, but uh, it's okay. Okay, so let's see what we got. This looks pretty nice on him. I don't know if this is like boho, but uh, if that looks cute on him. We've got this, we've got this, this. A lot of a lot of buttons and a lot of open open shirt chest chest revealing <laughs> bits. I don't know how this teddy bear teddy better teddy bear sweater is boho, but whatevs. I guess this one his tattoos peeking out under the <laughs> freaking shirt. Oh my god, that cracks me up. He's like, yeah, look, check out my tattoo. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, that looks good on him. Oh my gosh. Okay, these pants aren't bad. They're really not. And then I like I like the Converse still. Those aren't terrible. <clears throat> I don't think the shoes need to be boho, but <laughs> oh, we got these little slip-ons. Should we take the socks off? This outfit's not terrible. All right, now let's look at some polished stuff. Like, this is forcing me to not use CC, which is uh, kind of cool because I haven't done that in a while. Ooh, this button up is really nice. Maybe we can do that for like party wear or formal. Yeah, I feel like these clothes that he's picking are still him, but they are under the category that she likes. Looking pretty strapping there, young man. I thought you were gonna look crazy, but you actually don't look bad. Okay, here's his polished party wear. Here is his boho hot weather. And cold weather, maybe we can do polished for that. Ooh, that's really nice, and so is this. I think I like that one better. Okay, there we go. So, he's got one boho outfit for every day. He's got a polished outfit for his second every day. Um, this is his party wear, which is considered boho. <laughs> um, this is his hot weather and his cold weather. All right, we're done. This is our makeover. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how everything goes. I think he looks really cute. I think changing his hair was the was the move. Oh my god, you can sell your cross stitches on the little tables. That is super cute. He's crying in the bathroom. Okay, let's go home. I'm sorry you're having such a rough day. I want to make sure that this love day is perfect. So we should probably get her a gift, some flowers. Um, I wonder, there's a flower shop in Tartosa. I wish I knew what kind of flowers she liked. I wish we could ask that. That would be so cute, wouldn't it? She's a music lover. So maybe like a book about music or what else can you gift a sim who likes music? I wish you could buy like records or CDs or something. Oh my God. What if we wrote her a poem or a song? Dang it, I wish he had a higher level in some kind of instrument. I don't know what level you need to be to like write songs, but that would be cute, wouldn't it? Oh my goodness. Is there an instrument in this house? Oh, there's an uh, there's a piano and an organ, I think. There's an organ up here. Let me see what level you have to be to write songs. Level eight, jeez. Maybe we can get Ren to write us a song? Or maybe we should write her a poem? Oh God, I just don't know. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if we can ask mom to write us something. Dang it, guys. Level eight. 
We could come over here and make a wish for skills and pray that it's a musical skill. Yeah, this is the wishing well from the Romantic Gardens pack. You give it a very generous offering. You wait for the face to be really happy. And you can wish for skills. Fingers crossed it's an instrument. Please be an instrument. Dang it, mischief level three. That is not what I wanted. Not at all. Lame. What's this? Ren is feeling more confident than ever that she's recording incredible new tracks. And wouldn't you know, it just so happens that the annual Starlight Accolades Awards are just are taking place tonight. And this is the first year she's felt that she has a shot at the award for best new recording artist. That said, submitting material for consideration costs a hefty fee, and it would it would be an embarrassing setback if she doesn't make the final list of nominees. Will Ren see if her work is worthy of the recognition? Ren will gain fame, Ren will pay a submission fee. Yeah, duh. What's up? Ooh, early graduation? That's kind of cool. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Hell yeah, Evangeline. <gasps> Ren's a proper celebrity now. Ren rushed to the theater where the Starlight Accolades were preparing to film. As she strode inside with her demo tape, the paparazzi gathered nearby, paid her no mind. A few short hours later, Ren's late submission was the shocking surprise of the show. Ren's name is on everybody's, on every celebrity's lips as Ren is suddenly being her heralded as the avant-garde of the industry. In a turn of events, it was all she could do to outrun the paparazzi as she made her way home. Very good, very, very good. All right, so. Ren is a proper celebrity now. She, <laughs> that that's amazing. That's freaking amazing. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. Oh no, he doesn't like his makeover. It's fine, don't overreact. It'll be fine. It's always fixable if you really don't like it. Um. Okay, so Evangeline has graduated, which is pretty dope. So I guess we can get her to get a job or we can go to university, but she's gonna be a comedian. Is there an entertainment degree? Hmm. She's like, whoa, you look different. Can we show off outfit to her? Show off outfit, let's see what she thinks. So what do you think of my makeover? Uh, I just feel like I needed a change. I don't know, I'm kind of going through it right now. What do you think? Give, give me a, your honest opinion. Y you're really good at fashion. <laughs> He's wearing like the most basic outfit ever. A bimba varu. What do you think? Oh, yeah, but. It's like, hell yeah, you look great, dude. Oh, I am far up. <laughs> Edison, I need to borrow your computer. I was able to graduate early, so I'm thinking about enrolling in university if they have a degree that aligns with, with my wants and needs, you know? Okay, love day is tomorrow. Yes, all right. Evangeline's university application is on the way. Ren! I need you to write me a song on the organ, please. I guess it's not the most romantic instrument, but the last love song. All righty. Dang, can we give Edison the poetry book that she just wrote? I wonder if he'll be able to give it as a gift. He's having all his family members freaking write him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's a guitar here. Let's do that. Write lyrics. Mm, play a song. No, I want you to write a song. You can lull someone to sleep. A dramatic ballad or relax. No. I want you to write a love song. You can only write love songs on the organ. That's interesting. Let's see how it sounds. Our girl's a proper celeb, baby. Holy. He's gonna give her the most depressing freaking song ever. What would you do if someone wrote you this song? I mean, I'd be actually quite moved. It's kind of beautiful, actually. Oh my god, Manami and Bellamy are having another baby? Oh my gosh, Ophelia is having another baby too. That's exciting. Zoe, hand over all the goods. 
because you are going to pass away soon. I wonder, can we multi-select and then drag? Doesn't look like it. Oh, nice, Colby had the baby. And then uh, Hayes, you had the baby with William. <laughs> so I assume Bruce is taking care of the baby. Okay, her inventory is nice and cleared out now. Zoe, what are you doing? You know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna ask. Oh my gosh, she has six six thousand reward points as well. What to do? What to do? We're not allowed to have a money tree in this challenge. Yeah, I think it would be um, smartest to maybe get potions, like a bunch of moodlet solvers, probably. He's doing the same thing his mom was. Oh my god, my guy. All right, you've got school soon. I'm gonna send you alone. Ren just finished writing a new song. What would you like to name it? I got it. I'm gonna name it after an Elvis song. I can't help falling in love with you is what I wanted to name it, but I can't help falling sounds cute too. Make love day cards. Uh, yeah, let's just create hilarious ones. So we are going to put this song, where is it? Ren, where's the song? I thought it goes into your inventory. Doesn't it? Or is it just stories that go in your inventory? Licensed song. Four max, four spin, oh my gosh. I forgot you have to, you have to memorialize heirs in some way. Ren is usually in charge of that. So Royalty bad. payments, dang it. Yeah. I don't know why I thought that songs went in your inventory. Well, there goes that idea. What else should we give a music lover? Should we gift her a guitar? Is that like too, too much? Is that love bombing? We have so many flowers out here that we could give her. Birds of Paradise, Chrysanthemum, Rose, Snapdragon, Spinach, you know. Hey, Patchy. Ooh, what's this beautiful purple one? Crocus. Tulip. Lily. A lily might be nice. Christmas rose? It's spring. Begonia. The blue- a blue moon begonias can mean a call for caution? Spiny and tall, lilies grow in clusters. Flowers that bring cheer wherever they grow. Flowers- for each leafy tulip plant are often brightly colored, making them attractive for decorating. Oh my god. An unmistakable bundle of sharp thorns and ripe layered flowers. With more petals than leaves, these bushes nearly fester with buds. A small family of bird-like flowers perched on paddle-like leaves. I think maybe the crocus. Flowers that bring cheer wherever they grow. Yeah, that would be nice. What? Edison has gotten trouble at school? What did he do? What the? Whatever. I told him to study hard. He did his homework. Okay, a perfect crocus. What now? I guess we'll give her the poetry and the flower. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. I hope this goes well. I hope that she likes our makeover. Demand a challenge. Cupcakes would have been a cute gift too. Or like flurry heart cookies. I'm so interested to see how this is gonna go. Uh. Why aren't you dressed in your nice outfit? She doesn't look like she's in a good mood. Here, let me let me try and help. Give Love Day gift. I'm so scared right now. Hi, happy Valentine's Ooh, cool. Day. Oh my god, she loves it. Uh. I think. Uh. Oh. I'm so confused right now. Uh, now he has a broken uh, heart. Uh, no, that's her. Just kidding. She's like, I can't believe I got to work on love day. So, so, it's so, packed. So, so. Good thing you made a reservation. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Hello. Sit with me. How was your day? Oh, and Okay, she seems a lot more into the conversation. Love potion number nine for both of us. Love potion number nine. She bent down, turned around, and gave me a wink. 
She said, I'm gonna mix it up right here in the sink. It smelled like turpentine and looked like India ink. I held my nose, I closed my eyes. I took a drink. <laughs> I didn't know it was a day or night. I started kissing everything in sight. But when I kissed a cop at 34th and Vine, he broke my little bottle of love potion of a night. <laughs> Anyways, salmon for you, steak for us. Man, if Dine Out worked flawlessly, that would be amazing. Soul, Finosa Batanabe, Sinaka. Can I get the mahi mahi, but just the one mahi because I'm not that hungry? Girl, go away. No, please don't do this. Please don't just stand here. Good old dine out. Thank you. Oh my god. Think we're alone now. Jessene Clonkas Rabana. Oh, no way. Already? That was so fast. Thank you, ma'am. Dude, I can't. Sip, sip. Read the room. She likes potty humor, huh? Nice, Ren. Nice promotion. I think she just complimented us. Oh, she laid. This is going well. <laughs> Stop smelling oh, our food! Oh, Get out of oh. here! Yaba, Kibalu Dorne, Barbamul Hishpa, Blaf Espinoy. Okay, I can't do this. Makes him leave. Get out. You're you're released. You don't have to freaking work anymore. Not the boring conversation. Legendary date? Well, that's good. What should we do now? Oh my. Landy. Oh, she's doing the mistletoe. Oh my god. I think she likes us now. I don't know. Should we uh, leave them to it? <laughs> All right. So, here's what I'm thinking. She's way more receptive to us now. Way more. Right? It's not just me. She's like, he's like, do you want to keep hanging out? Do you maybe want to like go get a room somewhere? We have a, we have a, we have a vacation home that we can go to. <laughs> Tartosa. Here we go. A night in Tartosa. I mean, how could you resist? How could you freaking resist? I'm pretty sure this is the rental that came with the pack. I don't think I've ever replaced it. So we'll see how it is. I don't think I've ever been there. Okie dokie, 90 bucks for that dinner. Not bad, not bad. Actually, no, don't play chess. You guys are both in super flirty mood still. Um, let's give her that poetry. Where is it? Poems, this is a poetry book. Oh, Boro Swiv. See if she likes poetry. You wrote this for me? Oh my! You know what? It's been wonderful. It's been fun. Aww. No. Get in the hot tub with her. Do it. Oh. 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 Oh my God! It's so romantic. It's so romantic. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. With the fireflies and everything, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> Holy. Should we ask her to be our girlfriend? Yummy burgies. You guys didn't eat your meal at the restaurant. 
Oh, yeah. The freaking know. makeover worked, guys. This is super cute. I'm not gonna lie. This was a good idea. What a lovely love day, am I right? Uh, a Mookie. She said yes! She... Oh my god, she's so happy. I'm... Wow. This is fantastic. Well, I'll just let them do whatever they want for the rest of their little overnight vacation. See what happens. Look at her, she's so much more open and receptive now. I'm so glad. <laughs> He's so confident. Perfect post, new partner, deep connection. Wait a minute, did she leave? Uh, oh no, she's a. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Okay. She was thinking about a baby rattle, and you guys know what that means, okay? So in my game. I have teen pregnancy on, and I also have Risky Woohoo set to 50%, I think it is. Just for some, like, you know, realistic vibes. Cause there, there's a chance. There's a chance that every time you woohoo, you could get pregnant. So, it looks like it might've worked. I just clicked woohoo, I didn't click try for baby. Um, but yeah, she was just thinking about a baby rattle. Oh, so, I think we're gonna be having a baby. I wonder how she feels about that. I need to get Woohoo Wellness back in here because I really want to know if she even wants kids or not. Because she could totally not, and that could throw a wrench in the whole situation. All right, gang, it is 12.30 the next day. Um, I'm thinking that mom's probably wondering where we're at. So let's just go ahead and the vacation we got the hell the hotel room for the night or we went and stayed at the family vacation home for a night and now it is time to part ways but holy cannoli that went so well she was so stoked to be our girlfriend um we'll see how things uh how things go though throughout their relationship and we'll see if she's actually pregnant i didn't look i didn't check i want it to be a surprise oh my gosh when, when was the last time we had a teen pregnancy? Was it Olive? I can't remember if she was a teen or not, but... <laughs> a baby, oh my God. If she does have the baby, she's gonna have it at her house and the baby is going to be living at her house. I think that makes sense. Um, we'll just have to go over there and spend a lot of time there with her and the baby and then um, you know, once they become young adults, move them in with each other. Dang, Ren, that is a nice career outfit. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys. Well, I think this is a freaking good place to leave it. We uh, accomplished what we wanted and everything worked out in our favor. Let's go. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of the Legacy Challenge. I'll probably be uploading this today. I know that I said my next video was gonna be Career Legacy, but I'll probably upload it after this one because I really want you guys to see this. <laughs> I love you so much. Take care of yourself. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you guys very soon. Love you. Bye.